I've been interested in the post-apocalyptic genre since I was a kid, you know, with the 80s nuclear scare and whatnot. That sort of started us thinking about like having multiple apocalypses. Having the second apocalypse, and there's this concept of things dying and maybe being regenerated. So there's like an ecological component to it that I think makes it a little more relevant as well. This older generation of people, or maybe several older civilizations are depending on this, this youth to actually solve their problems, you know? But also, it left more room for the mutations to, to be, and be the star of the show visually and emphasize where the power was. Mutation. You're gonna mutate in this way and you're gonna have to figure out how to do it. That's some of the stuff I love from roguelikes is that like kind of random drama that can happen on a run that you're not expecting, and that seemed exactly kind of thematically like where we wanted to go with the game anyways. Red. The game with so many interchanging parts, the character that's mutating, all these different possibilities. We had some mutations that were underpowered, and then we went too far in the other direction, made them overpowered, and then we're pulling it back slowly, and. We slowed Firearm down after we slowed Exobrain down, so oh, okay. my, I can look at it. I just firearm. just compare the two. I, I seem much more effective with it than Firearm. So, so you before, were unhappy that you were effective? It felt, it felt OP compared okay. to Firearm. Talk about errors we left in the game, bugs we didn't fix. There's some fun ones in there. I hope, I hope when you told um, the fine two player folks what your biggest contribution to the team was, it was in finding exploits. And he's like, yeah, you could just roll through people with this thing engaged and kill the bosses in two hits. We're like, well, why didn't you tell us? I don't really think it's exploiting. <laughs> <laughs> exploits, and then we're trying to tamp those down, or in some cases, allow them because they're fun and it's a random game, so. We had, we had like that, that sort of customization happening, which, you know, took a while mm -hmm. to get right. Oh, my level up test. It's just randomly pressing buttons, or it's pretending to press buttons, while at the same time, so it's like right now, it's randomly activated the Chronom Bellum, mm -hmm. and every few seconds, it's getting a new level. So we're leveling up to max really quickly. <laughs> like, yeah, he, he just activated what, Chronom Bellum Hyperspeed. Yeah. yeah. This has been a, a pretty good test. Uh, I kept it running for hours at a time. You just have to sit here and watch this? Well, if I come back after a few hours and it's crashed, then it's a problem. Uh, otherwise, no, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's also pretty cool to see like all the mutations um, just going on and activating. And then we also got a uh, chicken head mutation in the game that's like a secret mutation that you can unlock and your head is replaced by a large chicken. Oh, sorry. And occasionally chickens now use the toilet in town. That's the other big thing we put in. <laughs> if chickens are using toilets, we'd probably stop eating them. <laughs> Makes you think, huh? That's right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, that sounds fantastic. Uh... For a lot of the mutations that we, we did, uh, we were looking at like like Cronenberg stuff or like 80s practical effects, puppet, puppetry and, and stuff. Uh, but also um, like a one toy that kept coming up was the Mad Balls toy that uh, is just like, for some reason really inspiring to everybody. The symbiote became like really uh, relatable because he's got a face and he can emote and everything. I like the old, really wrinkly one. I was like, but I wouldn't ever read from our camera. So it was like a really good opportunity to make something that's really appealing and uh, funny. I don't know if anybody notices in game, but like it actually flips the hat. Yeah. So when it comes time for the player to mutate, we just swap out whatever head he might have or legs he might have. It's naked. Oh, look at this disgusting. <laughs> Some of the mutations, including one called Death Row, where you have a tail and you lay these little um, spider hatchlings that follow you around and fire for you. Our initial imp uh, implementation of that was just these little creatures. And then we were like, well, what if we put, what if we put the player's head on them? You know, which is great because it's it's disturbing and funny. 
I don't really have a favorite mutation. I, I like a challenge, so I don't like getting a, a weapon that's like super easy to kill everything. I kind of like getting some utility ones that work well together and trying to come up with creative ways to take guys out that don't seem straightforward. Mm -hmm. Weather in cloud, light him up, now he's burning to death. <laughs> <laughs>